Anyone with an interest in myths, legends, and fairy tales needs references. For the reader, they are maps to stories you may not know about. For the writer, they are chock a block full of story ideas waiting to be discovered. And for all of us, they help avoid the Dunning-Kruger effect of thinking you know more about a subject than you actually do. So with that in mind, I'm going to list my own top five references. Number one, as should be obvious, is an encyclopedia of fairies. Hobgoblins, Brownies, Boggles, and Other Supernatural Creatures by Catherine Briggs, Pantheon Books, 1976. As far as I'm concerned, this is the Bible on the subject. I've lost count of the story notions gleaned from it, and if there's a supernatural denizen of the British Isles and Ireland that's not gotten its due somewhere inside, I've missed it. The book not only describes what is believed known about such creatures, but includes at least some stories and folklore surrounding them to place them in proper context. It's not going to say much about, say, Japanese fox spirits, but what it covers, it covers very well. Number two is A Field Guide to the Little People by Nancy Aerosmith with George Morse, published by Hill and Wang, New York, 1977. This book goes a little further afield with stories from Britain, Ireland, Russia, Scandinavia, Italy, Germany, etc., like Briggs's book. Aerosmith includes illustrative stories about each creature and divides the book into sections concerning light, dark, and dusky folk, depending on their temperament. It is not as comprehensive as Briggs, but far wider reaching and a great compliment. If I want to get information on a Folletti or Rusalka, this is where I go. Number three is The World Guide to Gnomes, Fairies, Elves, and Other Little People, Thomas Cately, Crown Publishers, 1978, reprint of the original 1878 edition. A bit more archaic in style, but covers well what it does cover, mostly Persia, Scandinavia, Germany, Ireland, and Britain. Again, illustrates the folklore of the individual creatures rather than giving a simple description of their qualities, a good book to get lost in. Number four is a field guide to demons, fairies, fallen angels, and other subversive spirits, Carol K. Mack and Dina Mack. Henry Holt, publisher, 1998. Don't let the title fool you. Demons, in this context, mostly refers to ancient spirits and gods which were demoted when later religions moved into the area. Sometimes fairies suffered the same fate, but the book does try to distinguish between them. Not as exhaustive as the earlier books, but covers an even broader swath of the supernatural, including creatures from the Middle East, Asia, Australia, South America, etc. If what you're looking for isn't in any of the previous references, this is the place to go, at last. Number five is The Children's Hour, Volume 8, Myths and Legends, Marjorie Barrows, Editor, Spencer Press, 1953 edition. I apologize for the poor quality of the scan, but it's an old, well-read, and well-loved book. Likely hard to find, but I'm including this because it's still a useful reference and is exactly what the title describes. It's a compendium of folklore and stories from around the world, including the New World. There's Paul Bunyan and John Henry, Tales from Africa, Tales from Greek Legend, Robin Hood, The Apples of Iduna from Norse Legend, King Arthur Cuchulain, The Song of Roland. You get the idea. This is the book that gave me an early love for the myths of the world. You can see where that led. I regret nothing. Thanks for watching. The Happy Troll and the Lovely Kitsune thank you too.